Would a laundry motor make a good alternator for your VOT? Today we'll look at testing laundry motors for use in vertical access wind turbines. I'm Dennis. Thanks for watching. The test bed was constructed with plywood, acrylic, and T-slot aluminum and included a hall sensor tachometer, twin 150 volt DC gauges connected to the output of two rectifiers, a DC motor controller, and a couple 12 volt scooter batteries. A 250 watt scooter motor with chain drive turned the 1 and 3 16 inch central shaft. The two rotors were attached to the shaft by handmade rotor mounts. Yikes! It looks bad and sounded worse. I'll talk about the output in a bit. Laundry motors are great. First because you don't have to wind coils nor gather and assemble magnets. Laundry motors are available online and at local repair shops. They're easy to use as VOT alternators. The rotor mounts are key to a successful build. They can be easily made with a 3D printer. Here you see a direct drive laundry motor in the center and two wing units making power. This machine required a brushless motor controller, hall position sensors, and was fitted with additional gauges for more accurate readings. The final test resulted in a net loss of less than 2%. This is very efficient. The output was 98% of the input power. Additional output tests produced 100 volts DC at just under 7 amps each side. These motors were designed for torque and they produced a lot of cogging in the VOD. This translates to a large wing set requirement in the neighborhood of 6 feet by 6 feet or nearly 2 by 2 meters. Since my goal was to construct a VOD that could be placed out of sight of city inspectors or nosy neighbors, 2 by 2 meter wing sets would not do. But they might be right for you. Okay, talk to you soon.